Hey, it's Joseph here. There's one thing in my life that I never get tired of. Opening up boxes. So as you can see here, friends at MSI have sent me this package, which I'm about to unbox and showcase to you. This is a MSI's new workstation laptop, which is WS75. And whilst I was provided with this unit to review and unbox for you guys, I was not sponsored by this video, so I'm not really told to say anything. I'm just letting you know of my observation and my own opinions and experience of it. And because I have to return this unit, there is a shipping return label as well. So as you can see, the two boxes were inside of bigger brown box. Usually this is a charger stuff and the laptop here. It is fairly big and it is 17 inches. And here on the back of the box, it's gonna say what the model is. So let me just read off of it which is WS7510TM SKU and it is color gray, 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 gray. So I'm expecting similar look as P65 and the LED panel 17.3 inches UHD 60 Hertz and it is mini LED, which I know this is a technology that a lot of laptops are going to utilize, but MSI really is the first ones to implement into their laptops. So I'm really excited to see this working on hand and CPU is Intel Core i9-10980HK processor, which is a 10th gen and the VGA is Nvidia Quadro RTX 5000 with 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 and the hard drive is one terabyte solid state drive. So it really shouldn't be a hard drive, but I guess they list it that way. RAM is DDR4 32 gigabytes, which is two of 16 gigabyte sticks and there's no ODD drive and battery is 80.25 watt hour four cell battery. So you can expect some good battery life out of this as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open this one actually. So the typical charger, US cable, and then the power brick, pretty standard stuff. It is not too big, but it is quite a hefty size as you can see. Okay, so connect this and then leave this on the side. So the main bit is here. It is white box as you saw with a dragon logo in the middle and let's get it opened. This is a laptop with a few manual here the typical stop the dragon character from msi and then few bits of manual which i'll probably never bother to read and then the laptop how's it look on the back it's got some grill so i can see the edge of the laptop is chamfered and it is looking quite nice. There's no accents in any way and it's quite subtle. I really like the simple sort of design that MSI have done here. Let's go ahead and open and put this back in the box. And the keyboard layout is looking normal with the arrow key that is located between the enter and the number pad here. Let's go back to the exterior look. So overall the weight is pretty good. The 17 inch, they typically are sort of heavier. I like the weight, it's not too heavy. And according to the spec, the weight is actually this. And overall size is also this. And on this side, on the left, I can see USB-C. It is probably USB 3.2, Gen 2, Gen 1. I get confused which is right, but it is probably the latest generation. I'll state that as I find out. And type A ports, two of those available. And then Thunderbolt on the right side of those two USB-A types. And then the full-size HDMI, which is always good to have. And then the Kensington lock that is available at the corner after the air vents. 
and on the back nothing special other than the same idea of the grill and onto the front there is charging indicator the LED light which is quite typical and then onto the other side so there's gonna be headphone jack and then microphone jack and then the micro SD card reader which is a plus I think on P65 there was no SD card reader so it is good to see that and then USB type A port and then full size Ethernet port which is always good to see in this size of laptop and then the barrel port for the power and then the grill so nothing else other than that and on the back there's the grill that is kind of random pattern zigzag and then this plastic black feet that is lifting the laptop up a little bit and there are screws visible so I suppose you can get to inside of this laptop quite easily and then let's see the finger lift the hinge is good and inside here everything is kept really simple there's nothing that really sticks out to me and the bezels are quite thin as well and they kind of marketed the mini LED display, true pixel mini LED display. It is 4K HDR 1000, 100% of DCI-P3 with the Delta E less than two and true color technology. I'm assuming that this is gonna have killer accuracy in color. And on top, there are three holes. I'm assuming they are for microphone purposes. And then the webcam that is on the top of the thin bezel that is up here. You can barely see that on the camera. And then simple MSI logo with the power button in the middle. I'm assuming that's a little LED for power indicator. And then a full size keyboard with function keys and no out of ordinary type of key anywhere else other than one particular button for a calculator and print screen which I would like to see makes screen capture a lot easier right and I can also see page up and down dedicated key which is good I always like having dedicated keys for page up and down and I'll probably do the same review once I do the full review of this laptop but the trackpad is quite wide right smack in the middle and that is gonna collide with my right palm so when I do the full review I'll probably talk about this again but fingerprint sensor is on the top left corner here and a little sticker that says Core i9 10th gen in Quadro RTX let's see if this laptop has any juice as I hit that power button it goes from white to red and MSI logo there yeah and there's a grill up here i'm assuming that is either the air vent or the speakers i'll confirm that during my full review the keyboard is lit now and i can see everything is white and again i really like the minimalistic type of design that msi is pushing nowadays so once i set up the windows i'll install all the architectural softwares all the typical softwares that i use and test it against my workflow and the full review of this laptop will follow but for now I just wanted to do a quick unboxing for you guys and tell you what this laptop is I believe that the mini LED version of WS75 is not really available in the market and it is supposed to be available later this year but I have this sort of as a sample and that is what I'm going to review as it's supposed to have really good color accuracy on display so I'm expecting a lot of things let's see how it goes so wait for my review but for now if you have enjoyed this content please like and subscribe to my channel if you want to continue watching these type of videos and thank you so much for watching as always I'll see you next time bye